you mentioned many times that you've been in the back of press conferences, you've been out here, you've, you've observed the families. Um, and this is a two-part question. What has it meant to you to see everything unravel, to see the emotions from a lot of these families, to see people show up and say, wow, here we are again. To see the broken promises made. To also see the press conferences from the mayor and from the DA. What has that meant to you to be there? And then also, how do you plan to expand expungement? Go ahead. I didn't talk about this part yet. My grandfather was a diplomat. That's how he came here. He was for in India. He engaged in nonviolent protests against the British to overthrow them. And when he came here to the United States, even though he was a diplomat, there was the white water fountain and the colored water fountain. He had to drink from the colored water fountain. People treated him as if he was black because they didn't even know the difference. With my dad, after 9-11, one of many examples, someone called the police on him, calling him a terrorist, and the officers arrived. And what was his crime? He was a dark man, he's darker than me, and he has a beard. And me, I like those toy water guns, those clear ones, I don't know if they still sell them at the 99 cent store. And one day when I was a kid, nine years old, my parents sat me down and they said, I wasn't allowed to play with it anymore because a little black kid, also nine years old in my county, was shot and killed. I'm 37 years old. I'm tired of waiting. And it's so upsetting to see so many of you here because it means you were the victims of all these crimes. And it's been going on since well before my grandfather's generation. It's my time, but... You can continue if you want. I'm so frustrated. And I also think it's time to have a person of color in this office who knows what it's like, who has to deal with it on a daily basis. I've been to prison while being a prosecutor. I changed it to civilian codes to visit my friends. There's so much that's wrong. And you can have justice. You can hold people accountable without killing black people. It's so basic. I'm here because I need to change this. I can't have another kid. No one else should die for this reason. I'm sorry. It's just, it's really painful. Okay. Thank you, Suswana. Yes.